Is motorcycle adventures going who's Squarna? <laughs> Just checking it. <laughs> no hurry, no hurry. <laughs> Awesome looking bike. Oh wow, what a cool color scheme on that. I forgot to, three of them. Okay, let's leave Varna for a bit and let's go see the back meetup of 2023 here in Bulgaria. I'll show you around a little bit. Let's go. I'm still staying in Varna, so I thought I would just drop by for this Saturday. This is the last full day of this event. Okay, we should be getting close now. See bikes already. They do have this treasure hunt event during the day and it's probably already started. So I might be missing out on that, but I don't really mind. Hello. Hi. Am I in the right place? Uh, what, are you, what are you trying to find? <laughs> So this is the main area. Okay, cool. Because so I see a lot of bikes there. Oh, Finland. Finland, yeah. That's a long way. <laughs> yeah, I didn't ride this all the way. I have a van in Varna. <laughs> the meat has to be turned for the, for the next six hours for it to be ready. So someone has to sit there and turn the stick for the whole day, basically. Okay, let's take a walk around the place. See the campsite. Very nice and clean looking place. Oh, there's a double bed in that one. So maybe a family yurt. And there's a lot of place for tenting. And another fireplace. There's a place where we, people can sit, eat, drink, have some fun. Yeah, but you can see this is so neatly made. Everything is kept so well. It's a beautiful place. I've never seen something like this. Are you guys from England? <laughs> I live in Varna. Okay, I, I heard your English was perfect, so I thought uh, maybe you... A lot, of people, a lot of people would not say my English is perfect. It's very bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Mine is worse. <laughs> and there's the legendary Tenere 700 Motorcycle Adventures. And it, uh, the channel is actually Motorcycle Adventures Live, where uh, he's gonna post the travel stuff from now on. Oh wow, what a cool color scheme on that. I forgot to, three of them. Wow, what is this? Wilner Garage. Okay, that's a cool look. Not sure if these are just here for the promotion or are these rental bikes? No idea. But what is that? A sidecar. <laughs> Someone came with the three-wheeler here. That's cool. Oh, the Rotobax is really nice. Really cool setup. Ural. So this is a Russian bike. A boxer engine. <laughs> Very cool. With the black color scheme, everything works well. So I guess one is for gasoline and one is for water, I think, or something else. Oh, and the big boy. The 1290 Super Adventure. I've ridden this once. I was able to take a test ride in Drahe, Finland. What an awesome bike. But I even thought that it's too nice. No wind, no nothing. You didn't even feel like you're riding a motorcycle. It's so nice. I think it's comparable to the big GS. Too heavy for me. I feel like it's gonna stay down. I have to buy a new bike every time I fall. <laughs> mm. All the GS. I've ridden one of these generations one time. Actually, it was older. Eh, no, no. 1200. This is the one I rode in Finland as well. It's cool. It felt like a tool, the older older GS. Wasn't finessed like the newer ones are. Is motorcycle adventures going Husqvarna? <laughs> Just checking it. 
I should probably go and try to find something to eat. It's already 12 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything because I don't usually eat breakfast even though I look like I do. <laughs> I'm happy to be a little bit chubby, don't you think? Okay, uh, I'd like to eat something. One moment. <laughs> no hurry, no hurry. <laughs> I have a friend of mine that now is traveling to India. Okay. There is a special price promotion on this, and uh, 250 and 300 on CRF. Yeah. It's incredibly cheap. It's two thousand dollars only for Indian market. One, and he will drive it to here. I said you are crazy. <laughs> I feel I feel bad because I paid full price. <laughs> cool. Enjoy the meal. Thanks. <laughs> Now that I'm full of kebab, we can explore this city a little bit more. L rough looking camper van. <laughs> oh, I don't look at these crazy dogs, they just run in front of you. Hello, horsey. Hello. Okay, these are the castles that I saw when I came in earlier. Wow! Look at all those jeeps. Stunning. Oh, beautiful cars. Are they yours? We uh, rented them and we will wait uh, to drive them. Oh, really? For four hours. Oh, so you can rent all these? And, uh, one, uh, one Jeep is uh, 160 Bulgarian Leva for um, four hours of off-road. Wow, so it's an organized trip. Yes. Someone will lead the trip and... Four hours. Four hours. For example, right now we are six uh, person and uh, we rented two of the jeeps and we will be three person in one and three on the other. Four hours of off road. Wow, nice. And I would be happy to drive yours. I am happy to drive this, but it's a little bit different though. <laughs> Maybe I should take that. That would be an interesting video. Something different for a change. I have no idea what these are, but it looks interesting. <laughs> I guess there's some electric electric powered off-road machines or something. That looks fun. Let's do it. This reminds me of Poland with all these massive fields and you can just ride in the middle of them just cruising along. Wow, look at that vista. That is food for the soul. straight from the sky back to the camp people are getting back from their daily activities and we are eagerly waiting for the food down there I just got a little bit of a taste and it was amazing <laughs> I have to try and stay in the shade because my face is completely burned up but let's see the bikes 
Okay, that's a well banged up GS. Looks like it's uh, been traveling like it's supposed to. It's always interesting to look at uh, all the traveler spikes because there's all these <laughs> little details like there's some kind of a Mickey Mouse. Not a Mickey Mouse, but some kind of a mouse. And some other thing there. <laughs> a nice Ducati, even though it's a road bike. Uh, it's weird looking, but uh, I like it. All the red and black. Like a man's washing bag. A tri Triumph. 955 something. I know I know the brand when I see it because it's such a weird looking looking bike but you rarely see this <laughs> there's a cowbell on this one SW Motec skid plate nothing that's uh, super heavy off-road these are all road tires basically except for this one this is a little bit of an adventure bike style tire but the others were pretty much road tires but I love this AJP this looks so nice like a traditional rally bike even with the rally tower I'm not sure if this is stock but uh, it's very interesting yes the tablet is so big it's a really aggressive looking bike I'm not sure about the technical parts like the engine is it durable can you tell me in the comments but I love the tower it's so nice it looks so aggressive I think I would love something like this on my Honda, these mirrors. Awesome looking bike. Oh, this is with the Anaki Adventure tires. I actually hated these tires. <laughs> they are really good on tarmac, but off-road and not so much. But a good looking bike, this GS. This is a GS Trophy version. I don't know how old is it. Looks brand new, actually. So I guess it's with the organization, just like the Hondas. If I had a girlfriend and I would have to travel two up, this would be the king. still have a couple of hours until we eat and uh, I've met up with some nice people here so I'm just probably gonna try to f see if there's any others who want to chit chat before we eat very interesting event and I would like to be a part of it the whole four days I think it is but for now I'm just visiting and making this short video about it so very nice event I would highly recommend anyone get coming here because Pavel is uh, promoting this event. There's a lot of people all over Europe coming here. Uh, I've, I've been told that this is not in the same place next year. It's always in a different place. But just look for... Uh, I'll put the details in the description about this place and about the website that you can find everything you need to know. But yeah, now I'm just gonna chill and uh, get ready to eat.